channel. So I went shopping a few days ago and I just thought I'd share with you some of the things that I bought. Um, so I'm just going to just pick them up at random and show you. So the first thing I've got to show you is my Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm. And I know that so many people have been ranting and raving about this product on YouTube for ages. And I thought, hey, let me just jump on that bandwagon now. Um, so I think it will just be great for this time of year to look after my lips and keep them moisturised. So I'm looking forward to opening and using this. Now the second thing that I have to show you is my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and this is in the shade Deep 4. Now I don't know if they do like any other deeper shades than this but this is the darkest one that they had when I went. I have actually used this a couple times already and it's quite a thick consistency so it's really long lasting. It says on here 16 hour wear. I'm not sure about that but it is quite thick and I, I do quite like this concealer. Now the next thing I've bought is my Rimmel Exaggerate Liquid Eyeliner and I never really use liquid eyeliners and I thought let me just go and give it a go again because I used to use them when I was about 16 and then I obviously moved on to gel liners and I just find them a lot easier to apply just because they're a lot smoother and I use a brush and I've just got used to that method. Um, so I'm going back to this and I'm going to give liquid liners a go again. Now, the next thing I have is my Revlon Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade 215 Supernatural. I really like this because it reminds me of my NARS Chihuahua Lip Gloss, and also, I don't really wear a lot of lip glosses that often, so I just think it's a nice, supernatural colour, um, just for everyday use. Now this next product is not one that I actually bought myself, it's one that my sister bought me for Christmas, but I just thought I'd show you it anyway, just to show you that I've got it and that is the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay and I'm actually um, wearing an eye look using this today and I'll just show you it's such a beautiful palette I love this and then all the shades are just so pretty and I just think it's really different I never really wear like pinks or lilacs and stuff like that so it's just different for me and I'm just trying to give it a go and I love the texture and the pigments of them all so it's a beautiful beautiful palette the next thing I've got to show you is also another Christmas present but the reason I'm showing you it is because it's another new product that is in my beauty collection so that's what I'm showing you um, and that is the Kevin Aquan <laughs> sorry I feel like I sound really ghetto when I say it um, the Kevin Aquan sent Central Skin Enhancer and this is in the shade SX09 and this stuff is so highly pigmented it's amazing I have used it a couple times but if you'd like to see a review or a demo with this product then please can you comment below and let me know and I'll do that for you uh, but I just really love this stuff so as I went shopping obviously I couldn't help but go to MAC so I did have to pick up the new Extra Dimension Skin Finish and I got this in Fairly Precious and this is just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's like soft and gentle but a lot sheerer and you can just use a lot more of this and it's a little less frosty as well so it's just beautiful. You can put this like down your nose um, and on your forehead as well as on your cheekbones. And also, if you mix it with your Fix Plus spray, you can use it as an eyeshadow as well. So it's just a really, really lovely shade and texture as well. And they did have this in two other shades as well, but this one was my favourite. The other thing I got from MAC is a Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. And I got this because I quite like the sound of it. And also, um, I'm a bit of a skin freak, if you didn't already know. And I just like to try new things that I think might help my skin. And... I love the packaging, I think it's really really cute, it's grey and glittery and it's quite a strong product so I think you're only meant to use it two to three times a week so I'm looking forward to see what kind of improvement this might make on my skin and if any of you have tried this out before please can you let me know um, if it was good, if it helped you and if you actually think I should continue to use this. Then I went to Clarins, and I don't own any Clarins skincare at all, but I've heard a little bit about their face treatment oil, so I bought the Blue Orchid one, and that is for dehydrated skin. And, you know, I'm not a massive 
facial oil person but just because I've been hearing lots about it and how much it helps the skin obviously I wanted to give it a go and this is what it looks like it's quite a big bottle you get 30 mils in here and I think this will last me quite a while the lady told me to put this on every night for three weeks I'm one week into using it yet and I'm not really seeing any kind of improvement so again if anyone's used this before and think it helped their skin then please can you let me know and just let me know if I've wasted my money or not. <laughs> Next I had to stock up on my mascara and obviously I bought my favourite which is my Maybelline The Falsies Mascara in Black Drama. Best, best, best mascara ever. Love it. Spoke about it in my last video. So my beauty favourites of 2013. So yeah, I loved it for the whole year. So I'm going to love it this year too. I am on the hunt for another mascara though that is similar to this. So if anyone can recommend one, that would be great. And I'd love to try it out. Finally, I bought some nail polishes from Essie. And I never ever buy nail polishes. I just use what my sisters have got or something just because I'm not like a nail polish crazy person I just prefer to go and get my nails done and have someone do it for me not in a snobby way but just in general I just like the whole experience but recently because I've been getting my nails done so much like having acrylics it's not really good for my nails so I thought I'd let them breathe so for now I have to just do my nails myself at home so I thought let me just buy a couple nail polishes that I like and and this one is really really cute and it's called Splash of oh my god why do I buy things that I can't say the name Splash of Grenadine I've got it on my nails right now and I've had this on um, since Friday and it's now Monday and they've not chipped at all so so far so good and then the other shade that I bought which is a bit different and a bit out of my comfort zone um, I got Midnight Cami and it's like a really nice navy blue but a bit royal and I never really wear blues on my nails I prefer to wear black like I just love black nails so I thought let me just go for another dark shade but something a bit different so I'll try this out when I'm done with this colour and I'll take a picture and put it on my Instagram so guys, those are all my new beauty goodies that I thought I would show you. I never really do haul type videos, but if you like it, then give it a thumbs up and I will do more of them for you. Also, could you comment below and let me know if you think I've wasted my money with the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator and the Clarins Facial Treatment Oil. And yeah, I would just love to know if it's helped anyone or if it's not worked with anyone and um, whether I should continue to bother with it or not. Um, but yeah, just let me know. And thank you so, so, so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Mwah. Bye.